we go. So, as always, we are, you know, back at the Carnival Masquerade. You know, short for Carnage, Evil, Mask, or Raid. Supposedly. Kind of. And, uh, last time... Uh, we had a we had a fun time, and that's the other reason I don't remind you is because it's it's also up to you guys to remember what happened. I'm never gonna tell anyone. <laughs> Said if you forget things, I I'm not just gonna tell ya. You were there. Toro. Reminds me, I should take off the. Which, you know, he could have done on Zarathos's body himself, but. It's, you know, there's details. <laughs> You mean badly? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot if it was it was on edge as well until then. That oh goddamn, that's right. I have to. That's the other thing I still have to write in. Shit. Give me a second. I gotta go make some rolls. Oh yeah, you gotta check that. <laughs> just depends it also is gonna take time for that so we're gonna see how that goes because <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out how to get a bits out of here Yep.
and almost gave away his position. It was incredible too. He spent like th like a good amount of important time doing that. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> Hold him smarter. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Which is how much of that actual time you have. Yeah. <laughs> so... 30 to 50%? <laughs> Give or take. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> and you wonder why you didn't find what you were looking for. <laughs> Alright, I got these going. Um. There we go. I've been waiting for that. Alright, so I'm going to roll a D100. Oh shit, one sec. I'm I was uh I was wrong. I need you to roll a D one thousand. Gotta roll when you you know how you roll a D one hundred? Alright. Alright, let's check this one first. I'm gonna pick the one I like most. Uh, so when you, yeah, whenever you usually roll a d100, you know how you roll that? You add an extra d10, and that d10 becomes the last zero. Yeah, you just add extra dice. I might have to save this. Ah! I kind of like that one. I'm going to save this one. And yours was 321, you said? Da -na 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 -da -na. Da -na -na. Ah, you'll be fine. It might work out because of this. It might not work out because of this. That'll be up to fate. <laughs> All right. Was... And the lucky winner was Jules' number. It had my favorite one. So, uh, basically, you know, as uh, you guys, you know, ba basically once you look and you're like, wait a minute, that's not so-and-so, you know, uh, that's not Zarathos, that's a troll, filthy internet trolls. No, uh, but as soon as you kind of realize this, everyone's like exclaimed, People have made their decision on what to do next, but before they're actually able to do it, uh, thick, uh, the bodies of the ogres, which you defeated earlier, these right here, uh, they start to, like, disintegrate into dust, and that dust seems to, like, grow in mass and start to swirl around the room, uh, providing cover around the entire room. So, basically, if you walk, you're in cover. Not in actual cover, but in visual cover. Hashtag zoom. It's because I make these uh, maps pretty damn big. Pretty damn big. This one's bigger than it's supposed to be, actually. Yeah. Personally, I have to sit about fucking 60 so I can manipulate everything in detail. Because all of these pieces sit on top of each other. <laughs> but yeah, so with that, uh, first thing, everybody needs to make a... Uh, visual check. So basically, you're check. You're trying to do. Uh, you're trying to see. Yeah, pretty much. There's only one. I just wanted to, you know, get you guys. Like you're trying to see during this. 
Not bad. Come on. Yeah. Which for you is plus one. Very nice. All right, anybody who rolled below a 15 uh, has a minus two to their perception during this entirety of the dust cloud storm. And and once again, this, uh, this happens and for the intensive purposes, you know, or for all intensive purposes, or intents and purposes, whichever way you want to skew it, uh, you can't see shit. You can't see your hand in front of your face. I'm, I'm talking like, you know, sandstorm quality visuals here. And not Deruda. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Haha, -ha, someone got my joke. I got it, I just didn't laugh. It wasn't funny. <laughs> uh, you have lowered vision, I think. You're going to have to... Yeah, you're going to have to roll again. Yeah, you should be all right. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't really change anybody else's stuff that much. Um, I need to look at one thing on Florence's page. Jesus, when was the last time? There's got that. There it is, right under Diffy. So many damn pages. Here we go. That's what I thought, so... All right. <laughs> this is definitely not gonna cause any problems. Yeah. So uh, during the sandstorm, uh, certain things happen, uh, and though because of limited vision you can't see, uh, Wedge definitely feels someone take one of his uh, quivers during the ensuing chaos. Uh, and that is uh, ha that happened. <laughs> I feel like you're so angry when you have fucked the party over on multiple occasions, you're about to get jumped, and they absolutely have the power to kill you in like two hits. So you can feel free to fight with your character if you want, but I almost guarantee you they will murder the shit out of you. <laughs> They're, once again, fighting spellcasters as a fighter is almost a guaranteed loss. Because one spell can take your entire health pool, and then be recharged on a crit, and they can double cast on the most of these guys. You're one. Well, I mean, you succeeded in one thing and failed in stealth. Good job failing stealth. Yeah, you grabbed it. Oh, that's uh, that's the other thing. I have to have Michael roll high or low. Because this is something only Michael would know.
And Floyd's just like, I'm out of here. Come on, Ursel. Oh, I didn't uh, check on which one of your roles for for which person, Jewel. Twelve is for. All right. So just a reminder that uh, Ursul currently has lowered passive perception. Yes. Science is fun. Uh, technically you succeeded on two, but dust on the other one, there's no stealth run. So it's, that's why I had to double check it, because what people know is an important thing in this campaign, apparently. The amount of, uh, distrust is palpable. Yeah, but I mean, it was the right guy, kind of. Well, it wasn't the right guy. You know what I mean. I mean, you, you can still ask him. He's over there, probably in the dust. Probably. He's just. He'll be all right. He's just. Well, I mean, you were right beside him. Well, I mean, you had to go do your thing. Obviously. Oh, that's true. I forgot that's exactly how you were doing it. That's why it worked. God damn, that was a st- Why do you use those things for the stupidest things? This I've never seen anyone use that spell so often. I mean, I've seen people use it in very, like, good ways, but you use it in some very silly ways, that's for sure. You probably shouldn't have said that. Nothing. It's all good. nothing at all me making random meow sounds to communicate with my cat my cat wondering what it did wrong to deserve being called a son of a bitch I don't speak cat shut up lightning oh, I don't know oh he was supposed to choose high or low At which point, you hear a mighty roar coming from like right here. What do you mean? Oh, there's nothing to, oh no, it could be anything. It could be a dolphin roar. No, it's, it's nothing. It could be a dolphin roar, it's fine. 
They do that all the time. Troll. Roll a perception check. Uh, you can also roll this perception check, Michael and uh, Divi, because you're in range of perceiving it, what it is. Okay. Oof, 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 oof. All right, you all, you all heard a noise from right here. That's what you heard. Sounded like a roar. And anybody who got over a 14, or, or, or 14 or over, uh, here's Leroy going, holy shit. Uh, that's just what Leroy said. Someone's gonna have to ask Leroy. I think it's goddamn. I don't know. I don't know. It just sounds scary. But people be stealing shit. Damn thieves. I saw it all. You know what I saw. And how much money are you gonna pay me to see nothing? It's like, not until the proper paperwork goes in, you aren't. <laughs> Have you... <laughs> and, you, and did you... And did you file those with the correct carnival officials? Which carnival officials? How about, like... Who, Jerry? Damn, she got me. Jerry's not a real person. He wasn't either. I made that name up on purpose. Alright. Be quiet for now. I'm watching you. You stay away from my kilts. Oh, uh... You know, uh... You know... I don't know. Also, roll another perception check. Ah! Michael. Oof. It's all good. Just careful on that stealth. Uh, so anybody who got a 20 or over, uh, sees it's just Clarence. He's like, what do you mean, what the fuck? I'm not yelling over here. You're yelling. You're yelling at me yelling. Why, thank you. But that's a damn lie. <laughs> But would you steal? <laughs> Dark vision. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Yes, as is that ominous lightning. Thank you, nature. Right now it is. Anyway.
I mean, as far as you can tell. What? <clears throat> You see nothing. And he runs through the door. That is entirely up to you. Looks like Clarence is gonna. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> also, I, uh, for that person, uh, perception check. See if you saw the person. I didn't even, you know. You, I mean, you saw him on the map. Yeah. But I mean, did you see him? See him? All right. And just curious, and you, uh, and you should always let it be known, but that's not a natural 20, right? Okay. I'll always let nat 20s be known. So we got that, that. Leroy's like, ah, I've been done with this shit. I don't get paid enough for this. I'm not even a proper adventurer anymore. And then Leroy uh, somehow stretches out in two dimensional directions for no reason. Before, like, just becoming an alien for just half a second. Claire's just like, what? Huh? What what are you <laughs> Why do you assume he's talking shit? <laughs> Florence, uh, Florence is, uh, one sec. So, you know, some people may or may not know in or out of game that Florence knows Draconian. I mean, that just depends. I don't know. Did you ask? <laughs> Have you seen them speaking it? Or is that's fair. To be fair, the dragon does speak Draconian. <laughs> 
Yep. That's all good. Sounds good. I'm trying to pay attention to whispers and Discord messages, so hopefully we'll be on top of that. Uh, I need to talk with someone. To be fair, I think this that's kind of this character's MO at this point. Also, Clarence is like, uh, I mean, I didn't say anything. It's dragon stuff. You wouldn't get it. Do, do you want? Do you want me to roll my deception? <laughs> oh fuck! God damn it! I totally didn't do or say anything about you. Ah, come on! What? No. Me? Never. Wow. At which point Leroy is going to be like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> no, it was it was good and bad. It's the thing is you did it with the best intentions, which is I actually don't know what your intentions were, but I feel like they were good intentions. The fun part is it's still developing. That's the thing. I, I always wait for people to catch my hints. Little, I, I put little hints, little tiny, tiny, tiny hints about things. But people are not always, uh... I didn't that huh? No. You did fall through that portal though. Said I, I don't know, did she? Roll. Yeah, you rounded the corner and he was gone. I mean, you could still try to investigate where he's going. There you go. Yeah, wish you luck. <laughs> you can't cuck dice? Wait, what? No, I'm just kidding. You see that someone was definitely running down the path. Um, and you see some of the steps get all the way over to here. But then they just kind of seem to vanish. I, yeah, you know, you... I, I'd say Florence caught up pretty quickly because she was coming out and just kind of listening a little bit to the tail end of what was going on there, whereas I feel like Wedge and Azuva and Leroy and Clarence are kind of like meandering behind, just catch up when they will. It's... <laughs> 
That's an odd, uh... That's an odd one. Yes, everybody roll perception uh, for the statue. too. Even though it's not passive, it would also apply to the thing. Oh no, we're out of the room. That shouldn't apply anymore. That that dust would not have followed you out of that room. And what was yours again? Sorry, Carly. Okay, got you. So, uh, basically what you guys see is just some basic statues. Uh, they look like soldiers. Uh, and they're, you know, they're just holding swords. At which Leroy goes, holy shit! Sorry, I mean, this place is freaky. Dre and Clarence is just like, I hate this place already. And everybody in here. Wait, did I say that in Draconic? Speaks in Draconic. <laughs> it's, it, it is. Uh, that'll require uh, an investigation check as opposed to a perception check because you're investigating the statue. Uh, no, it seems like a statue. I mean, from what you had known before, like just taking into account and like looking at it and you know trying to find out to see if it's alive, it doesn't seem like it's alive. so far as you can see down the hallway because it is actually not well lit although if you do have dark vision you will be able to see farther yeah so you should be able to see that uh, all the way down to is this my reveal yep oh I get that right reveal all the way down to here and it's a corner there's a wall and you see like a little jutting doorway right here at the end
know, the rolls really helped me play this two-way game very well. <laughs> it's, it's again. <laughs> All right, and you're doing both? And you're doing both? All right, so yeah, both, you get both of your quivers of arrows back, Michael. You just you just see Clarence laughing and, and speaking in draconian the same words he's basically been saying every time he said draconian before this. So that way I don't have to tell the other two they already know what he's saying. This thing he says the same thing every time. My big one was, and I was trying to lead him towards it slightly, is you succeeded on stealth and the, the steel check for one quiver of arrows, and then proceeded to immediately fail the stealth check on the next quiver of arrows. About nice. <laughs> the only <laughs> Yep. <laughs> no, she did her math for that one, dude. She even told me she's like, it says it can lift up to this and it quivers only this much. I was like, how do you keep finding these uses for this? And that's and even earlier, that's why I was like, well, that's why you would have moved. I was like, oh right, she used Mage Hand, it's a ridiculous spell. Oh my god. I mean, the problem is some of those arrows. <laughs> yeah. Hey, right, let's see. Oh man, Clarence didn't hear it. He wasn't paying attention. But Leroy, the transgender barmaid, did. We discussed this last time. He speaks several languages. We talked about it last time. You remember, I developed these characters. He's a linguist. He was a, he was a college professor. He had a backstory. He lost... He, he's a real person with real life problems. Real fake life problems. If I had to quantify my investigative skill, it would be Batman. <laughs> well then. 18, you say, and we're investigating to follow, yes, or just investigating in general? Oh, we're investigating this. Aha. Uh -huh. And we're just looking at it, right? We're not trying to do anything with it? Okay. Okay, not touching it, not good. 
Uh, so, roll perception. Everybody. Uh, yeah, I am a bit. Why? You got a nat 20, Michael? I hate this system. I can't type it in unless it's first. Damn it. There we go. Just hear Clarence go three, four arrows max. Clarence got good hearing. Have you seen them dragon ears? I know, that's how they wonder how they hear it all. It's an impossible feat. Uh, and I forgot, what was your roll again, Carly? 21? Oh, I'm gonna message you on Discord. Do 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 do.
Look, you guys are freaking out over here. I am too. This place is creepy. Have you seen that coffin? Yeah. I feel like that's a bad idea. There's also stuff leaking out of it. How does stuff even leak out of a coffin? I wonder. I wonder if that... I wonder if that indicates something. <laughs> she is. Clarence says something in Draconian to Wedge, and uh, that looks like a normal coffin. Perf. Yeah, you tried though. You tried real hard. Wedge and Clarence continue to talk in Draconian. Also, Florence has to be listening. <laughs> is like I say no I say we get away from this coffin and this weird ass statue and we go somewhere else
The funny thing is, they're actually not at all concerned about you, I assume. Why? <laughs> That's not gonna happen in this campaign. I think most of you still don't know anything. <laughs> Arcana check. Yes. And you're trying to Arcana the box? We had a one and two zeros after that, and we got ourselves a wad. Sorry, I have to. I have to quote Bender whenever possible. Uh, I mean, I guess they're not talking in secret. They are a little bit of a ways away from you, though, so you might catch pieces. I guess I can send you. Yeah, you're like 50 feet away. So, I mean, you catch little pieces, I'll send you some, you know, little pieces, but you're missing a lot of it. Thirteen. Uh, I feel like that's enough strength to push the lid open. Reflex check. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. All right, well, this is cool, but this doesn't give me detail. Not you, just something I'm looking at. Um, you said how much again? So unfortunately, the trap was activated when you touched the top of the coffin and pushed. Not when you just touched it, but when she pushed and succeeded in moving it. Uh, a needle sprang out of the opening uh, to hit you and deliver a small dose of poison, dealing uh, three damage. And now you must make a DC 10 constitution save. Okay, so you're good. You're not poisoned. You just took some poison damage. I know it's a weird distinction. That'll be a perception check, won't it? Haha, <laughs> all the checks.
Ah, yeah. So you, you, you can't see what's in there. Just like shing, ah! Magic in your eyes, baby! Just got a little bit of magic in there, baby. Don't worry about it. Also, I need a perception check from Michael and Sherishow. And that's your perception. Roll another perception. Yeah, you. Florence. Don't worry, there's a reason, I promise. Okay, you, uh, you didn't notice anything. Re re I just point Clarence is just uh, you see him just taking deep breaths Oh, sorry, yeah, the second one should have been done for Ursula if she can see into the coffin, too. Well, if if Ursula is looking into the coffin with intent. Oh, I thought that was... Nah, nah, nah. Ah, right there. Uh, here we go. Let me change that a bit then. No, you're good. No, no, no. Yeah, that's my bad. I thought she was like in also looking with Ursul, but if she wasn't, then she didn't need to do that one. But it's all good. Uh, With her tiny anime eyes.
I n <laughs> so while that's while that's happening, a loud burst of noise comes from behind you as Clarence just breathes fire. Uh, all the way up, all the way up to right here. Oh, sh pretty much where Leroy is. It's like because I believe it's a twenty-five foot for his uh, flame. Oh, sorry, that's farther than it's supposed to be. Then it's, it'll only go up to here, give or take. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. I was I was close. I wasn't too far. But yeah, he's just like breeze fire right here in a cone, which is weird, but it's fire. At which point Leroy says, what the fuck? My ass is on fire! Uh, and everyone needs to roll perception. Yep, especially you. Technically, Sherisho can too, if you'd like, by the way. Is that Nat? That's nat 20, yes? Give me a moment, I need to go copy and paste something. So you, wait, you both rolled nat 20s? Oh, cool, that makes this easier. Okay. Boop. Uh, that is for you two who rolled nat 20s. for the pseudo dragon ah interesting that'll make things fun yes it does I forgot about dragons <laughs> unfortunately she just didn't get lucky <laughs> And what did you roll for that, Carly? Okay, so the two people that roll tens both take ten damage and pass out. Ooh, that's rough. I do remember that was an unfortunate time for Florence. Ursula is still up. So, just so no one's confused, because I think Michael doesn't understand how familiar works, uh, familiars can't attack. That's it. They can actually do every other action on their own. Including, including, 
including cast a spell, including cast a spell, Michael. It cannot use the attack action. That is it. It can use every other action that she can use. I just wanted to remind people of that. It is just the attack action that can't be used. He can cast a spell, dash, disengage, dodge, use potions, spells, use an object, use a scroll or text, uh, drop caltrops, which is a really cool one that someone suggested on this forum. Now, having said that, uh, Familiar's real problem are they're not very tough. <laughs> Familiar is one bad uh, attack from being uh, down for good. Oh my god, this is a weird interaction. I love the rolls on this. Uh, yeah, all right, I, I think everything else is solved. And we got uh, those people, and Lyra is like, what? Is everybody passing out? Yeah. I don't get paid enough for that. All right, go to draw an arrow. Your arrows are gone. <laughs> uh, remember that perception check earlier? Not when they rolled the 21 stealth. <laughs> All right. He did, and then someone else took him. <laughs> so we'll roll initiative. Nope. Not until you're stabbed and wake up. All right. Uh. I just love it because there were so many characters in this that were at odds with each other by nature. Someone's someone's whole premise for their character was literally to uh, fuck with somebody else. And that's why that character hasn't done anything all game. Okay. And... Oh my goodness, this is this is gonna be so great. Leroy is just gonna walk over here just like I didn't see nothing. <laughs> um uh so Ursul and Michael got a roll for initiative. I saw Ursul's. I didn't see Michael's yet. Michael goes first, and then 
We have our fun unstealth person finally. Well, there wasn't until right now. Boop. I think it's 22, something like that. I gotta check her page for spells. All right, so Michael goes first, and he says he wants to walk up and stab, which he should be able to do as a ranger. Or are you going to shoot? Yeah, that's, that's why I was asking. It's like, it's, I think your only option is to walk up and stab. Have you tried? 20s, 20s always work. <laughs> I was just saying, I mean, how epic would that kill be? <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, not not only that. I mean, could they even uh, like blame you? It's like I don't want me, man. That sword's way over there. <laughs> that that was some random sword juggling. Wait, we know a sword juggler, and an elephant juggler for that matter. And then suddenly an elephant crashes through the roof. No, I'm just kidding. He's like, where do I go? Well, it does for an evil character. Dun, 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 dun. Long Strider, yeah. Ah, okay, there we go, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be, this is gonna be the most retarded thing I've ever seen. Uh, the jaw jumps off your shoulder and cast Witch Bolt. <laughs> You gotta roll your d20, uh, Dippy. <laughs> well, I was, I was intentionally vague about that. Oh shit. Roll your d100, damn it. To the random magic table. Okay, that that random magic effect was too random. I need a better random magic effect. Some of them aren't as good as others.
Clarence suddenly expands to ten times his size. Nah, he's like pressed up against the walls. Also, you think Leroy is pretty much dead at this point, squished somewhere. At the same time, uh, for whatever reason... Oh, well, you two are unconscious, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, Ursa will see... Well, Ursa already sees. Yeah. So, I mean, um, you know, I mean, I'm going to just let you and Wedge know since you both know that it's, you know, it's what you see, but big. Right? And... Wait, sorry. I that up. This is going to be confusing his balls. Because they're the same fucking... Uh... Uh, at which point, uh, he will boom out in a large, you know, tone barrel. What the fuck is happening here? Also, everyone roll. Per also, everyone roll perception roll. <laughs> no, anyone who's conscious roll perception roll. All right. Did you make your perception roll, Divi? Yeah, you didn't notice. Uh, make a... N <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, and once again, this time, just for Cher Show and Michael, make a roll. Perception. You're never going to let that go, are you? It would have been fine. <laughs> yeah, but they don't know that. Yeah, but they don't know that. <laughs> I mean, uh, maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Uh, I just keep throwing out hints and waiting for people to see what's going on. <laughs> uh. Ursula can't even talk. Uh, 
Uh, and then Leroy Schill is just gonna shout out of nowhere. Rah! Uh, Clarence is gonna get closer and make a roll. A shitty roll. He made a better roll on that roll. And uh, he breathes fire over the entire crowd because he can't actually selectively shoot right here. <laughs> um, everyone make a perception check. You're unconscious. You shouldn't be, unless your health points went below zero, you shouldn't be unconscious because of loss of hit points. You're just unconscious as a state. And so to be knocked out of consciousness is as simple as taking damage. Unnatural 20? You would assume so. No, no. But you do seem to take uh, 2d6 damage in fire damage. Well, that's what you, th that's what you seem to. You shouldn't have to. It's like, yeah, don't worry about it for now. We'll we'll figure it out later. Sorry, I gotta double check. You as well, Diffie, will take that same amount of uh, 2d6 apparent fire damage, unless your perception roll was different. Or did you roll perception for that? I guess I didn't get you. That's right, that's what I thought. So yeah, you seem to take damage. 2d6. So you don't have to roll it for now, just keep it, just keep it in mind. And that is, uh, that is his turn. Clarence did his thing. So now it is Lay Doll's turn. Uh, I forgot, what did you roll for it? You hadn't rolled for it, had you? You still gotta roll a d20 plus your spell attack modifier. Guessing that's a no. <laughs> I don't think that's enough. Oh shit, that is enough. Just barely. Well, good for you. Uh, so now you're gonna roll your two. Yeah, two d twelve. Nine and eleven, and I mean you're you're attacking. You get to say your attack object. <laughs> With lightning from the sky. Well, you would have to wait till your initiative to actually do it. Right, uh, I was saying you get to do Witch Bolt, but you you didn't have uh, the priority and initiative roll. So you can still do your Witch Bolt, but you had to wait for everyone else to go through their turn. 
because they rolled a higher initiative than you did. Right, we, we did... Sorry, say that again, because I missed the last part. Right, you never, that's the thing. You never, you decided to do Witch Bowl, and you did do Witch Bowl on your turn, which you had to wait for. You didn't make any rolls for it, you just made the roll attack. And that's the thing, You when you decide to go into action, you go into the initiative order. Your initiative order is lower than pretty much everybody else's except for Ursul's. So everybody else acted at the same time in the same round before you were able to shoot Witch Bolt. Yeah. The, and that should be for a Chris 20 clean Witch Bolty damage. Uh, as well as the, you know, obviously, uh, they see you taking 2d6 fire damage. And that makes it Ursul's turn. And everyone roll per and everyone roll perception again. Well, and of uh, and of course Florence. Okay, there's twenty one for you or Sarah Show. Uh, did you roll perception, Diffy? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, that one's been having a tough time on you today. No healers, hashtag rough times. HW uh, Lawrence sees. You're doing a medical check, I'm guessing? All right, so, uh, all right, wait. Isn't there a medicine check? No, which one's that one's for? Yeah, all right, so it should be the same. Uh, I mean, you're able to stabilize, basically, but, I mean, you're not able to add health, unfortunately. As is the nature of the game. Nope. And that should be Wedge's turn. All right, roll your D20 with advantage. Oh, 
Or sorry, it's supposed to be with disadvantage because you're going for a specific attack. Let's see. God damn it. Now I gotta go find her page again. Because it's on a different section. There we go. Dice Cloud! Alright, that should be a hit. Roll full damage. Nope, constitution saves don't work that way. All right. Yep. Yep. In let in in no, it's Oh no, it is because those are technically from the same same source even if it's from poison it's from the same attack. Uh but Yeah, and that's the big thing. It does if he reaches your total health. If he can reach your total health in one attack, he automatically kills you. Why does this keep disappearing? I keep opening your page. That are total health? Yup. Oh, there you go. A dead character. Uh, that makes it Clarence's turn. You, oh, well you can move. That's about it though. Roll a d20, Carly. All right, you are now awake. And you roll, well, you can roll initiative. Okay, so you will go before Clarence, but you still have to wait till he's done with his turn. Which, uh, also gonna need a, oh wait, yeah, a perception check from, uh, Carly. So, uh, for whatever reason, it, 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 he's, it seems like he just dropped you in the middle of Clarence's leg. Like, like not like on him, like, but in the middle of Clarence's leg. It's not too far from it. He's not, I can't make him a specific size. He takes up the whole room. Remember, he's supposed to crush, yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> you can pass under him, but as far as like sideways, like he's supposed to be smushing up against the sides. So you, I mean, visually speaking, cough. And so are you going to remain standing there, I assume? 
Yeah, I know. That's why I just assumed. But you're not going to move after that point. I think you might be out of movement as well, but I'm not sure. So I was just checking. All right. Ooh, uh, dragging versus carrying. So I guess if he can afford to carry them without it. Depends. That is, you got to be able to lift her and all of your equipment and not reach your incumbents. How much is your current equipment weight? Yeah, I mean, that should be good. Should be good then. Said so the carrying people uh, or dragging someone is when unwilling or uh, unable to do so with your full carrying capacity. Because a, a barbarian should be able to sling a halfling over his shoulder and throw it across the room, theoretically. I know, I'm just, I, I'm just saying... I'm just saying, relatively speaking, it is not uh, unheard of for an in-shape, strong person to carry another person. Uh, military people do it a lot. The over-the-shoulder boulder hole. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, it's Clarence's turn. Oh, you do. My bad. Sorry, I forgot that it switched off the thing and we'd already went to Witch. So it is your turn. Uh, so I'm gonna take a minute here and freak out. Uh, I'm gonna take a minute here and freak out. Uh, and then I'm gonna take a minute here and freak out. Yeah. Uh, they're not used to activate, they are used in conjunction with an action. So when you use an action, they're automatically activated, if it's relevant to the glasses. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of the and why are you doing that? Just curious. I will accept that answer. Uh, I'll accept this. Go ahead and... Uh... Alrighty. Let's go ahead and roll for each side. Yours would be just strength, so you have no proficiency either, actually. So, yeah, it would just be... Alright. Yeah, he got out. Yeah, he got out the way. <laughs> but I mean, you know. Oh shit. All right, you're gonna roll your, your instantaneous. Oh shit, I didn't think anyone was gonna use these. <laughs> she thinks she's inside of a dragon's leg. Uh, that's, that would be dis, that would be deception. With the plus from the glasses. Yeah, and so realistically hiding your identity is just, they don't have disguise anymore, so it's just a stealth check. The point of the can hide your identity after already being revealed is you don't take any disadvantage from the role, whereas usually they obviously know who you are and you're not going to be able to bluff your way out of that. These glasses just make it so that you can actually, you know, bluff your way out of it. All righty. Uh. 
and it's going against Wedge's uh, intuition. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, wait, do we not have insight? Oh, insight, sorry. I always mix it up with 3-5. Insight, check, Michael. To see if you can tell that she's not being herself. Or if you have just met a new friend. And then she gets to roll to see if you know her. No, Ooh, yeah. He, he, sees, he sees right through your disguise. Uh, also, both of you roll another perception check. Uh, those two. So you didn't notice anything, unfortunately, Carly. I don't think so, which makes it Clarence's turn. And Clarence is going to lift up his foot and stomp on you. Yeah. Her. Uh, so you need to first uh, make a reflex save <laughs> to try to get out of the way. Or dexterity save, sorry. Yeah, you were unable to get out of the way. And so you take uh, 1d10 damage, physical damage, or you seem to take 1d10 damage in your, you know. Yep. And how much health are you just currently at in total? Just curious. Okay, cool. You should be alright for now. You're, you're doing better than the average, how about that? Um, and then make a perception check. Lately, none of them. Uh, with your bonuses? Okay, yeah. So you are able to notice that Clarence is not, in fact, a giant black dragon. Uh, Clarence, Clarence is a regular sized, average, uh, give me a moment, black duck, wearing a top hat and a necktie. Uh, he's going to say, fear me. You, uh, you are also, you are also able to notice that those glasses you're holding are just regular old glasses. No, just regular glasses. Not even good prescription glasses. And everyone make another. Oh, we'll wait for that one. We'll wait for the end of the turn. Uh, to add that in. Uh, that makes it uh, Diffie's turn. <laughs> which I think you just get to. Which I think you just get to automatically fire, right? Okay, so on your reapplication, you're only allowed to do 1d12 of lightning damage automatically. So, 1d12 roll. <laughs> to be fair, this is her mission. 
Her whole goal this whole game has been to fuck Michael over. Literally, the entire game, she's just been, like, leaving hints for Florence to find. Like, she'll fuck up an area after Michael leaves stealthily so that it will give him away later. Doesn't always work. But that's literally what she's been following around doing the entire time. Every time she changes into someone else's hand, she just, like, tells them Wedge is up to no good and that he's a bad person and they should judge him. So basically, all of the chaos in the party, all of the bad problems that have happened, are Diffie's fault. In including the shooting at the, the concert tent, including, including Florence following a wedge in the first place, including the second time his arrows went missing, and... There's another one I'm forgetting, isn't there, Diffie? I was gonna say, you've been working in the background very hard. Yeah, it was her. She, uh, she, ro she rolled really well and decided to eat them. Well, she's metal and immune to poison, so... Yeah. Uh, did you roll your 1d12? Alrighty. And that... At, at that point, uh, Leroy, the transgender barmaid, just starts laughing. Just, like, cackling, and then grows twice his size. That's all. Make a perception check. He's gonna go back and stab the body again. I'm just, I'm just giving you shit. He's not doing that. Hey, look, a character's never truly dead until your body's burned. Just gotta go find a res spell. 